on the War Network Television. Lions Cable access as a two-hand flush throw down. As Khalil Murphy is checked in right to the rack. Hamilton, Dubois, JD to his left around the pick by Okaji. Down low to Goblin Ball. Long little homemade stuffing served up by the sophomore from Nigeria. Touch pass over to Blackwell. Dials long distance from the corner and he buries it. 122. Hamilton fills the paint right to the rack. Lays it up, lays it in. Bird dog by Doolin and Blackwell. They find Hamilton. He'll dial long distance and connects. Lions can get the deficit to single digits if they get points on this position. Three ball by Biden for the corner is good! As Mark Jackson would say, hand down, man down. The Lions knocking their hand up quick enough. Again, the painted area. Floats up a shot with the right hand. Contact, no call, but he finds a way to score in any way. Dubois on the score sheet. His first point of the night. 56-42. LV down by 14. Lions can breathe a sigh of relief as he was wide open there. Will and Jesse. Three ball in transition by Dubois. It's going to go long, too. 59-44. Lions trail it. Three ball by Viney. Left corner on the way. He buries it. Anthony Ireland hits Dubois. Dubois to the trailer. Viney back to JD. Wide open. Three ball on the way. And it's good. Ireland has it. Gets the top yard to Dubois. To the teeth of the deeper. Tished off deck by him. Look out below. A little two-hand slammer by Beijing off the dish. Into the post to Armstead. To Dubois. Dials long distance. And connects. So the Lions will wait for the teammates to join him down. At the fourth, three ball by Dubois for the parking lot is good. Ten points in the ball game for the player of the week as Arthur step back three from the corner is on the way and good. Ireland going to work on Cody Doolin. Three ball by Anthony on the way and good. Anthony Ireland going to work now on Rashad Green. Drive gets into the paint area, finds Bonnie wide open for three. It's on the way and good. I don't know how Viney was left wide open. It's like he stepped out of the front row of stands to take that shot. The Lions tell him gets three. Rashad Green to the rack, scooped it on the way, not close. Out of bounds. They'll take it by Viney before he fell out of bounds. So Armstead, Steve Hamilton, who does it home. 86-85, can you believe it? Can you believe it? And now a turnover. Calario stepped in bounds while he was still holding the basketball. The Lions. A chance to take the lead. Finally, right to the rack. Finger roll with the right hand. It's good. Finally, giving the Lions the lead back. Lions to inbound. Let's see if Finally heaves this into the backcourt. Leaves it up in the air for Hamilton. Tips it away. Lions win it. The Lions win it. Can you believe it? Everybody onto the floor from the Lions bench. LMU came back from a 19 point deficit. So Drew, we'll let you catch your breath there for a quick second. Plain and simple, one of the greatest comebacks in the history of LMU basketball. How'd you guys do it? Pure toughness, man. We, we really, we, uh, we, we got this one from the heart. We've been working all week. We knew we had to come in and close them out on our home court. It was tough, man, but we came back and we did it. The Lions put up 60 points after being held to just 30 points in the first half of play. A 60-point second <laughs> half. What was the difference offensively? We just made shots. Everything was open. Everything felt good. It was just in. The, the, uh, the basket was wide open for us. It felt like the basketball was just small. It was easy. So take us into the under four media timeout. Lions, again, most of the ball game. They were down by as many as 19 in the first half. We're down by double digits most of the second half. Talk for us about what the coaches are, uh, address in that uh, that timeout is the team came out, really cranked it up defensively, and uh, pulled off an improbable victory. Uh, just to keep fighting, you know. Uh, we've been fighting all season with injuries and stuff, and, and, and we, we knew coming into this that it was going to be a dog fight. And we had to fight all 40 minutes. Uh, those last four minutes was tough. But uh, we pulled it out, man. It feels great. What was going through your head when you had that opportunity for the huge three late in the ballgame? I mean, you've been shooting went tremendously well in the second half, four or five from long distance for the ballgame. Take us through your mindset and, and uh, what you saw out there. And, and, uh, and again, you, you knocked down that huge shot. Yeah, well, Ant, Ant had it in the top right corner by half court. And, and my man went up to double team him. So he swung it real quick to JD and down to me in the corner. Just shot a pump fake. Took one dribble. I, I knew I had that shot, but there was nobody in front of me, and it was a one-on-two. Uh, me and Ash against their big guy, and we had we had to make a play. Describe for us as well the defense, the final two sequences, 
the Dons, a couple of possessions, got some good looks. You guys hung your ground. You came up with a big rebound on one of those and then also forced a couple of turnovers. Take us through that defensive sequence, the final seconds. You know, LeBron and Ash, J.D. and Ant, they, they came up big time on defense for us, and, and especially in the clutch situations, rebounding the ball for us, and, and we really needed that going into the last couple minutes into, the, uh, into that game, and that really helped us close it out today. Where does the momentum from a game like this carry the ball club you're still knocking on the door for a potential number two seed you got a huge road trip coming up no rest for the for the weary you've got <laughs> portland gonzaga st mary's but what does a win like this do to energize the team before you head out on the road we've been talking all week about usf it's going to be a tough one and we uh we knew that we had to get this game and it was going to put us up to seven and three and it was going to give them their, their sixth loss i think and so we needed to open up that gap a little bit between third and fourth place or fourth and fifth or, or whatever the standings are right now. And uh, we needed this one today. So, so it's, it's, it's big confidence for us going into next week, and we really need this. You're really quiet. You can hear some cheers coming from the state of Tennessee. Those are your grandparents right now. What do you want to say to them and your fans listening tonight? Hi, grandparents. Uh, we, we love you down here. We, we appreciate you guys listening all year. Um, and, and my grandma just got out of the hospital. She's feeling a lot better. So, so I'm, I'm, I've been praying for her all week. Hey, it, Thoughts and prayers are with you, Grandma. What better gift than, uh, than the, the gift of a tremendous come from behind victory and 20 points from your grandson, Drew? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Enjoy this one, Drew. All right, we will.